by Rumpa Room Groovy. What is up, Bam Bam? It's all good here. So, are you excited today? You should be. Why is that? Well, heck, you're alive. Yeah, and you're watching me. I know that's kind of hard for living, Mr. Announcer. Mm-hmm. And they need to take some medicine, don't they? Or therapy. Or therapy. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to traumatize you. May need counseling. Oh, what the heck? Eh, I don't care. Okay, my friends. La, 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 la. Huh. And they're probably thinking I'm acting, don't they? Would you like to elaborate on that, Mr. Announcer? Uh, what you see is what you get pretty much 24 hours a day. Ha! Huh. You may think I'm deaf because I don't really care. Okay, here we go. Only if you dare. Hey, all right. So, we're going to do a little bit of ink on paper to show that color of that ink, how it works on paper. And the paper, I'm going to use that Franklin Kristoff paper. And I really love d doing this. It really helps me decide on the inks I like. Uh, I don't do the full test, you know, uh, uh, the water, put the water on it. Uh, will the ink come off? Or how long does it take to dry? And blah, blah, blah. Now, uh, my main thing is if I like the color, I get the ink. If I can identify with that color, and I like it, then I'll get the ink. So it may take 30 seconds, 40 seconds, whatever. I'm okay with that. So let's say that it's not waterproof. I'm okay with that. I am just into the color of the ink and how it works on paper. That's just my thing. You know, it ain't nothing but a thing. Do what you want to do. So here we go, Mr. Announcer. What is the first one I'll be doing today? This one is Robert Oster Tranquility. All right. And a special thank you for to Pin Chalet for sending me this. All right, Robert Oster, a really nice brand, a really nice, beautiful color. What do you think of that color, Mr. Announcer? It's okay. Doesn't grab me or anything. Wow. Okay. And next up is Papier Plume Ivy Green. All right. Here we go. Oh, spill it. There we go. These little things you got to pull off. Okay, here we go. Here we go. That's interesting, isn't it? I like that one better. I guess it's it's a little lighter. The color shows better for me. Okay. Our next one from Federalist Pens and Paper is Edelstein Moonstone. I think this is the one I really like. Okay, really? Okay. Okay, Frank from Federalist Pens and Paper. Hello, Frank. How about little Marky? Here we go. Yes, that's, that is my new second favorite ink. Really? Huh. To me, now, I'm going to be a hypocrite. I don't really like it. It doesn't pop. It doesn't sing. It doesn't do anything for me at all. But one thing I find interesting about this ink, it reminds me of a pencil to me. So, would I use this ink? Yeah, yeah. Okay, the next is... Here is another papier plume, maroon. Maroon, okay. I really love doing these colors. It really helps me more than you know. And that's an interesting color. Now, to me, that looks orange, brown-orange rather than maroon. Yeah, this doesn't even look like maroon to me. 
there's like a brown or like I said, brown orange, huh? <laughs> so we got one more left. The last one is Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz. Now, last year, a few years ago, this was making a lot of hits and just everybody going la-la over this ink and just going berserk over this ink. So, finally, let's do it on this paper and see what we think about it, okay? La-la-la-la. Okay, here we go. What do you think, Mr. Announcer? Uh, it, it's okay. It's, it's not bad. Uh, it does have. It does, has kind of a texture to it. I don't like that. Okay, let me get this one here next. Park real quick, and this is going to be black and. Okay, you can go ahead and name that one and I can get ready for that. Okay, Parker Quaint Black. Okay, I get my fingers inky, that's okay. Because next I want to get to like a dig a dog and they go back up. Here they are. Here they are. La la la. All right, now. If you're going to be an ink person, don't let ink scare you off. Oh, my fingers are all inky. You're going to get inky. And then you can do the ink a rink -a dink Here we go. Parker Quaint, which, you know, believe it or not, I love this ink. That, that's a really deep black. I love it. I love deep, rich black. All right. Now, rink -a -doo. Have we done that one yet? No. What is that one? Uh, from Federalist Pens and Papers. Three Oysters Purple Gray. Purple Gray? Yes. Okay. Thank you, Kalakadu. Kikalakada. Kikalakadu. Okalakalakala. La 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 la. Okay. Here we go. And what do you think of that? I like it. Uh, I don't see any gray in it, but I do like it. Yeah, I, don't, I, I see purple. I'm trying to find the gray. And we'll come back to it after a while and see how it, uh, when it dries up, how it acts. And here's another one. Uh, this one from Anderson Pins is Sailor Epinard. You know what? When... Uh, Brian Anderson, Anderson Pins, great people, great folks. Brian and Lisa, love you guys. You guys are dynamite. You're all the monsters. I love you guys. So, if you're an Anderson Pin, why don't you buy something from them? And buy me something from them. But anyway, uh, Brian was uh, saying a while back that the, the Sailor Epinard was going to be gone they're not going to make it anymore so i bought i think all the samples they had left i think because why because i like this ink i'm a rink -a doo ink i'm a rink -a doo ink okay here we go of course i didn't put the name on it but i will shortly i guess i'll put it down here sailor There you go. I really love this ink. Let's see how I did on the other side. And that's a good job on it. Good paper. So, I'm not going to write the names down. We're just going to go out of any order again. And we're going to do this all over again on Tomo River paper. Okay, here we go. Mr. Announcer, would you like to do the honors? You can pick whatever you want first. Okay. You got the paper? Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. 
uh, Pop Your Plume Ivy Green. Okay, we're going to use start off with Ivy Green on Tomo River paper. Again, I'm not going to write it. Mr. Announcer, say the name again. Pop Your Plume Ivy Green. Pretty cool looking ink. For me, this is therapy. For real. It, it, it really just it helps me more than one knows. Okay. That actually looks a little brighter on that paper. Well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to compare them in a minute. Okay, here's the uh, Sailor Epinard again. Epinard. Look at my lovely hands. Oh, I like that. Hmm. Oh, I, I really love this ink. For some reason, I just, I love it. And purple gray. Purple gray. That's the one that's kind of like, mm -hmm. All right. And smoky quartz. This one is the Parker Quink Black. Okay. Have we done that one yet? Oh, I love that ink. Really a sweet looking ink. And back to Popular Plume Maroon, masquerading oh. as orange. There's that moon out right there, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. And we did, have we done the moon? Uh, no, uh, okay. somehow we've got these mixed. That's all right. Um, That's all right. But no big deal on that. Okay, kids, do not try this at home. And parents, do not try this at home. If you do, make sure your kids supervise you. All right, kids. A word of advice. If your parents have fountain pens and they use ink, make sure you supervise them because they could spill. Have you done that one yet? Let's see. Oh, here's the moonstone. Okay. Moonstone. And then we'll do some comparisons. Yeah, but this is the one everybody's going cuckoo over. I didn't go cuckoo over it by no means. Andy, we did the three oyster? Uh, that's the purple gray, okay. yes. We did that. Okay, so. We're missing one somewhere. Right here. Okay. Okay. Uh, oyster tranquility. Robert Oyster. Robert Oyster tranquility. Hey, Robert, are you out there listening to me? Robert Oyster, you rock, my brother. All right. There. So now, let me wipe my inky dinky hands. And I'm having a really good time, for real. You know, I've had, I have all these health issues, right? And I haven't been doing well the last four days. Isn't that right? Uh, you've had some problems. Yeah. And my, my, I guess we can share with them, can't we? Yeah, my, my mobility has gotten worse uh, and kind of scary and yes I'm kind of scared what's going on with me uh, my condition is what you would say on a down slope so and the other day for real I, I, I want to share this with y'all uh, I thought was it yesterday that I was telling you about that uh, Let's see, when I got home from the doctor, <clears throat> I was laying in bed. I was hurting. And here's the distance I can walk. Let's say I can walk from the car 
to the front porch, then I have to sit down because my legs are on fire and I need to sit. Then I go in from the porch, I can walk into the kitchen and then to the den and I have to sit down again. And then from there I can walk to the bedroom and sit down, then I get in bed. So <clears throat> that's what's been going on due to the spinal, severe spinal issue that's happening. I've been to see my three doctors and uh, I knew this was going to happen. It was a matter of time, uh, so it was nothing new. I just don't really share with people how severe it is. Uh, am I scared? Definitely scared. Scared to death. But I want you to know because you're family. Uh, but <clears throat> I was laying on my bed. And it was the weirdest feeling I've ever had. It was like something going in, reaching inside of me and pulling out my energy, my life force, and I could feel it coming out, and I'm just getting really, really weak. I couldn't even get out of bed. That definitely scared me. I've never had this type of episode ever happen to me, and it scared me, scared me to death. I was thinking, is this it? So, um, uh, Prayers are always accepted, but I, this is what I love. This is my passion. I, it really is. I just don't get on here to be Mr. Popular or Mr. Know-it-all because I'm not Mr. Popular and I don't know it all. But when I do reviews, I do my best to look up all the history and all the information I can to pass it on to you guys. You guys are what's important. And, you know, I do have giveaways I do here and there that I can afford. Uh, I want to give something back. And then I have a, a friend of mine, a couple of friends of mine that uh, like to stay say, stay unknown. Isn't that what you're saying, Mr. Now? Anonymous. Anonymous, excuse me, better word for that. So that they send me pins in immaculate condition. Immaculate. So thanks for them. So I, I was counting pins. It's kind of slowed down with the epidemic of the virus. But I'm probably giving out, believe it or not, over 700 pins. New ones and used ones. Believe that or not. Could be 703. Uh, and it's easy to do. And I feel good about it. I know a few years ago there was a young man in, was it England or London that, was he, you remember how old he was, 15, 14? Well, somewhere in that area, yes. Yeah. And he entered a contest and he won. And I, I forgot the pen that he won. It was a nice pen, brand new. And he was so excited. I mean, the young man sent me some pictures, and it brought a smile on my face. I was just touched in here that that pen made his day. And he was telling me how proud he was of this pen because he couldn't afford any. So he got that pen, and I was glad. You know, I think I was put here on earth by God to help people. And that's what I try to do the best that I can. For a lot of my pin buddies that know me, you know this is the truth. So, let's get busy here. I'm going to throw these little Inca Dinkers away. And I am having a blast. Aren't I mispronouncing? Oh, yes. I don't know about Mr. Announcer, but I'm having a blast. So anyway, so we're going to turn these around. Is that better for you? This is Tom O'Rourke River, and this is Franklin Kristoff. So here is the Franklin Kristoff 
I can't read upside down. What is, it, what is that? I can't read it. I, I can't see it from here. Tranquility? Yeah, okay. Here's the... Is that the tranquility? Oh, right here. That's the tranquility. Yeah. This is the tranquility right here. And this is the what? Which one are you looking at now? Right here. Uh, Ivy Green. Which is right here. And then this is the smoky what? Moon, moonstone. Moonstone right here. And this is the... Maroon. Right here. And then this is the... Smoky Quartz. And that's going to be right here. And this one is... Quink Black. Quink Black. Beautiful right there. And here... Sailor Epinard. Sailor Epinard, which is going to be right there. No, down at the no, bottom. Right here. Oh, hey, right there. here. Right here. Right here. I apologize. Right here. Okay. And last but not least, this one. Uh, no, the purple gray. Purple gray right here and right there. So you see how they match up on the Tomo River paper and the Franklin Crystal. All this is important to me. And look, no bleed through. Did a great job. Okay. So that's that. Now, I got a special treat for you. Okay. All right, I'm back. Well, I can't find my notebook that has all my ink samples from 2015. So for right now, till I find them, I'm going to just use this for a substitute. So this is the Birmingham Pins and Ink test that I did, what, was it last month? And uh, see how well the ink has still held up for a month. And then I will keep all these samples for years. I want to see how the ink holds up. Does it fade out? Does it turn a palish color or what? So that's that. And then here's some other inks. The Mont Blanc psychedelic purple, beautiful purple. And of course the uh, one right here by Pilot. It's called the, as its glasses get on, Pilot. Uh, Hiroshi Morisaki. Okay. Shikulue. Okay, here we go. And then we got the pilot, Hiroshi Murasaki. Okay, that color. Now, I do love this color. Beautiful, beautiful Mont Blanc psychedelic purple beetle ink. It's just to die for. This is, okay. Now, what is this one, Mr. Announcer? I can't read upside down. Pelican 4001 Violet. That is a nice purple. Really, uh, it's a... Bold color, it kind of stands out, and I really like that. And we go over here to Noodler's, what is that? Base State Concord Purple. That is another lovely purple by Noodler's. I really like that ink as well. Coming down to Robert Oster. Robert Oster Hippo Purple. Okay. Hip, I don't see any purple in this, do you? Not really. So I don't understand this. I'm no expert, but it looks like a brown, like a hippo color, but that's about it. And the Noodler's what? X Feather. That's a nice black by Noodler's. I like that. And? Levenger Ronin Black. Raven Black, I'm yeah, sorry. Really a nice black. Really sweet. I like that. And here? Omar Black. Another excellent black. Just a beautiful black by Omar. And here? Diamine Jet Black. And that's okay. Not the greatest. At least for me. Just my opinion. I know people out there love it, but it's okay. And over here? Oster Black is Black. Now, that's something that I've given a lot of thought. Oyster black on black. I just don't see it. Do you? 
Well, I mean, it is black, but it is it's black. not very deep. Well, when, you, when they say black on black, I'm considered it to be a darker black, don't you? Well, black is black. Is what yeah, it is. well, black is black, but I, I consider a darker color black. Or is it not supposed to be a darker color black? Uh, I suppose you could interpret it that way. Whatever. Okay, over here. Cross black. Love it. Cross black is one of my favorites. Next. That's cross, okay. What's the next? Right there. We did that one. Did, okay, so let's cover up that one. And have we did this one yet, have, haven't we? No. All right, let's start here. Slag gray. That's a decent. Salmon hors d'oeuvre. Uh, kind of iffy on that one. Boysenberry. Decent one. Polar bear. Love it to death. Polar bear kicks it. Snowflake. Another one kicks it. Ice rink. Another one kicks it. Alternator crimson. And that's okay. Saltwater taffy. 50-50 on that. Independence Gray. Fair. Celestial Blue. Nice one. A Cat Named Sam Pop Art Purple. I like it. Last but not least. Turquoise. Love it. So there's a lot of inks from Birmingham that I really think that they're really wonderful inks. And the ones that I don't care too much, I'm sure there's hundreds and thousands of people that dig that ink because we're all are different. So, uh, have we done this one yet? We'll go over this again. Okay, we have Robert Oster Tranquility. Edelstein Moonstone. Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz. A Three Oyster Purple Gray. Papier Plume Ivy Green, Papier Plume Maroon, Parker Quink Black, Sailor Epinard. Yep, okay. And I won't give the names, but here it is on Tombow River paper. Now, let me get some of this right here. And this was done a, a while back, and you like to call out the names Is that Levenger Levenger Forest uh, Diplomat Saint DuPont Royal Blue Vanishing Point Di actually that's the pen I guess okay ink is Diamine Oxford Blue okay Pelican Edelstein Topaz Blue Waterman Audacious Red is that baby move your thought there, baby penguin, yes. Chinese blue. Oh, I'm sorry, that was young. Yeah. Okay, Noodler's USS Texas. That's a nice one, yeah. And Noodler's Cardinal Kestrel. Let me get this ready for you. J. Urban Rusty Anchor. Diamine Infernal Orange. I like it. Robert Oster Pinky. I like it. Noodler's Apache Sunset. I like it. Mont Blanc Toffee Brown. I love it. Moonview Krishna Blue. I like it. Krishna Jungle Volcano. I like it. Franklin Christoph Emerald 357. I like it. Diamine Magical Forest. I like it. Birmingham Andy Warhol. I like it. Noodler's Rome Burning. I love it. Let's see if we have any more here. Have we done this yet? No. All right, here's our last page for the show. Here we go. Okay, for your favorite, Noodler's Bay State Blue. Yay! Noodler's uh, Revolution Blue. Yeah. Twisby Blue. It's okay. Visconti Blue. Love it. E move your finger. Oh, Visconti Turquoise. It's okay. Lamy Turquoise. I like it. 
Euchre Cobalt Blue. Love it. Nice color. Uh, let's see here. American Eel. It's okay. Monteverde Peace. Eh, okay. Robert Oster, I can't see the word. Uh, Tranquil. Tran Tranquil. Oh, that's not long enough for Tranquility. Frankly Blue. That's oh. a, I'm sorry, yes, Frankly Blue, of course. This is a nice ink on Frankly Blue. I like it. Uh, Manuscript Blue. I like it. Mont Blanc Midnight Blue. I like it. Organic Studios Nitrogen. I like a, it. I like that's a neat one. Yeah. Uh, Detrimentous Hyacinth. I like it. Uh, Papier Plume uh, Villarreal, I think. Yep, I like it. Monteverde Sapphire. Nice. Waterman Serenity Blue. Yes, blue. Fair. You can move your finger. Blue Stone, is that Blue Stone? Or Black Stone? Black Stone. Black Stone Barrier Reef Blue. Love that blue, nice. Okay, uh, Royal Flush Blue. Nice. And Noodler's Tahitian Blue. Very nice. So those are the ones I like, and some are like, eh. And let's see, I think that may wrap this up for today. And hopefully I'll be searching for my book that I spent a lot of work in getting it ready. Folks, I want to thank you really for hanging out when I do my ink swatch, uh, I do have a lot of fun doing them. They're very relaxing for me. They're very th therapeutic for me. Uh, it kind of helps me get my thoughts off the health problems and it puts my thoughts in this beautiful colors of ink that I can see in my head and just colors of ink here and there and it just it's wicked but yeah I I do love inks I do love paper I do love fountain pens you name it that's what I love so I'm going to say good night my love it's time to go I hope you had a great show with me today I hope you made it all the way to the end so Please be very careful when you're out and about. Don't take any chances. If you're going to the car in your parking lot, check around the car, check in the back seat. Be extra safe. Never take anything for granted. Nowadays, people are going a little bit overboard. So, peace, love to you and you. And you, and you. Prayers are sent for each and every one of you to God to watch over you and protect you. And until my next video, as always, please don't text and drive. Goodbye.